Here we are at Balmur as the top two in League Two clash. Peterhead will be looking to try and get back to winning ways after only one win in their last six league games. Flynn Duffy returns, as does Andy McCarthy and Connor O'Keefe. New signing Peter Paulett continues in the starting 11 for the hosts. Gary Naismith makes two enforced changes. Kyle Jacobs makes his full debut in place of Nat Wedderburn, who is suspended after his red against Stranraer and subsequent failed appeal. Nicky Jamieson is injured and Eden Lynch gets the nod over new boy Ben Sterling in the heart of defence. Goes forward and is intercepted by Kinley Billum who marauds forward, gets a little fortunate and it comes out to Yates, he's kept it in and O'Reilly was free at the back post and my goodness, almost a real mix up in the middle of the Peterhead box but they get away with it, here's O'Keefe cuts it back and so close for Richie And there's the opening goal. Richie so close already this half, but he's got the opening goal. Peterhead strike first. And it's his first goal since November. Here comes the ball. Buchanan again. Another goal for Gregor Buchanan and he gets the equaliser Warriors are looking for. His sixth of the season. And it equals his best scoring tally in a single campaign and it's that combination again. Adam Brown picks out Gregor Buchanan. It's 1-1. Here's the effort from O'Keefe. And it's a good save from Jameson. there to be a winner in this contest there's the ball into the box punched away by Jameson might have another chance to deliver it Meekin keeping Shanks company it's going to fall for Richie he's done it again and Peter Head just reminding Stennis Muir that this title race is far from over. And there is the full time whistle. Peter Head get the win that they so desperately crave. And they've avenged that loss back in September at Oakleview. They've closed the gap at the top of the league to 13 points and inflict the first league defeat on the Warriors since the end of August. The winning run for Gary Naismith's men is over but the race is very much still on.